next graduate is Daniel Taylor. Daniel plays the tuba for our local symphony and has a profound love for music. I'll pass the mic over to him. Everybody. So I'm, uh, I'm Daniel Taylor, and that was uh, The Warrior Comes Out to Play by uh, Nat McIntosh. And uh, the reason I picked that particular piece is because it really, it's really representative of kind of my path and my love of music and how I kind of transferred that into where I am today. A quick correction, I do not play for the KW Symphony. Um, in fact, what it was leading up to and what I'll get to by the end of my presentation is I got to perform a concerto for the KW Symphony with the KW Symphony for winning the Laurier Concerto Competition. And so why that piece is important to me and I think it's important to show is that it's very different from what most people think of when they think of the tuba. Most people, you ask them to think of the tuba, they're going to talk about, you know, umpa, or maybe in, in the symphony, the bass line. And, but that's just not how I see the tuba. When I think about the tuba, I think of it as a solo instrument. I, what I love to do is do solos and do small little groups and really stand out. And most people don't know that they can do that, don't know that's the thing. And I think... You know, like Eddie said, I think it's important to accept that there is no just set path and that there are a number of ways to get to where you want to do. And my path, like Eddie's, is, and I think like most of the people who speak today, is not necessarily your conventional path that, you know, you would necessarily take. Because upon graduating from Cameron Heights, I went to U of T, I got a scholarship and I spent three years there, but um, in the end, it just wasn't, wasn't quite for me. So I had to, I had to take a couple of years off. I worked for a bit, got lots of experience. And then when I was ready to go back, I came back to my hometown to KW and I went to Laurier and I've just, just in these past couple of weeks, I've graduated from Laurier and so now I have my um, undergrad in music performance. So I think it's a nice contrast for me, someone who's just starting out in their career, to Eddie, who's someone who's established their, their career. Because, you know, I felt a lot of shame and frustration with not being able to, you know, take the same path that everyone says, you know, you've got to take when you get out of high school. You know, you go to four years of university, and then you're in your career. I didn't do that, but I think it's important to realize that you don't have to do that and you can um, have... That was loud. Um, 
that you can take a different path and still succeed. And I think that's really important for, you know, you grade 12 and grade 11 students, or even grade nine and 10 students are here to realize that you don't have to take this standardized path, but also going back to my original, the song I played is knowing that even beyond that, there are- Josh, I was just- Even beyond that, there are tons of different avenues you can take, which may not be apparent to you. You probably didn't know that solo tuba existed up until five minutes ago. And I think the same exists for every field you could possibly imagine. I've managed to make success and get lots of opportunities and work with some of the best musicians in the world in my field. And I've taken a, a separate path. Another kind of point I want to hint on, which ties back to that original point, is that it's okay to ask for help and that it's okay to receive help. Um, I want problem, not one problem, one example I always think of was that when I was in grade nine or grade 10, I think, um, I would, um, the music teacher at the time, I think was Mrs. Bear, um, sent me to this South, Southwestern Ontario band workshop where a bunch of kids from different schools um, all got together and we played some band music and then we had one-on-one -on -one sessions. It was at Laurier, one-on-one -on -one sessions with faculty members at Laurier. And it was there I met Jane Manis, who just retired from the KW Symphony and was my teacher at Laurier. And she instantly, she recognized my passion and my ability. And she really, she latched onto that. And she, you know, said, gave me her, you know, business card and said, if you ever have, ever need anything, if you ever want to work on something, just give me a call. And I remember very distinctly thinking, I'll never need her help. I've got everything under control. I, I'm the perfect tuba player. I will, I will succeed all on my own which in hindsight is very ridiculous. But I remember that being my mindset at the time. And then, you know, a year passed and Mr. Hill was at the school and he offered me a chance to play a solo with the, the senior band. And I picked this very hard um, transcription of a violin piece called Chartus. And it had this really difficult technique in it called double tonguing. When you, when you play the tuba normally, you go two, 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 or any brass instrument. But when you double tongue, you go tuka, 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 tuka. And it, I don't know if you want to try it with your videos off, but it's, it's harder than you think. And it gets really fast. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure out how to do it by myself. And I struggled and I struggled and I struggled because I had this mentality that, you know, I was a musician. I was a solo musician. I had to get it done on my own. But then I remembered that Jane Manis had given me your business card a year ago and I reached out to her and she taught me how to double tongue and I played at my played at the solo and it went great and Jane Manis has become one of my closest um confidants and teachers and really role models throughout my music career and I never I was so close to never establishing that connection because I was so convinced that I had to do everything on my own and so I really think especially at Cameron because you have so many people who are willing to and want to support you um to grab onto that you know my you know Mr. Hill Mrs. Howard um Mr. Snyder and Mrs. Bear these all are people who are foundational to my career as a musician and really learning that you know what I'm trying to pass on now that, you know, it is an option and you don't have to follow, even in music, you don't have to follow that same, you know, line in the sand that uh, everyone talks about. And so, um, yeah, if anyone has any questions or wants to more examples of solo tuba music, you can sure af ask me after the presentation, but uh, I hope you all have a good rest of the presentation. I'm looking forward to hearing them all.